Hey, what's going on guys? Mr. The Reverts here, and today I wanted to share with you guys a theory about who the Shadow Man is for Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies. Now, I've seen a couple of people touch base on this theory on some Call of Duty forums and Zombies Reddits, and they do kind of brush it off like it's nothing, but I do believe it's something you guys should take into consideration when it comes to the storyline for Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies. So there is a recorded mental illness called the Hat Man Syndrome, and basically it's where people start to see a shadowy figure of a man wearing a fedora, much like the one we saw during the cast reveal for Shadows of Evil. I'm going to have a couple links for more information about the Hat Man Syndrome and also some stories that people posted about their encounter with the Hat Man. But as I was reading a few, it does seem like the Hat Man is something to look at from a paranormal view. But for right now, we're going to be looking at this with a little bit more logic and thought. So anyways, you do develop this Hat Man Syndrome. If you've done bad things throughout your life or you feel guilty about something wrong you have done and you start to see this man in a silhouette who's wearing a fedora and you feel like he's always watching you and no one really knows why but it's caused because of something you've done wrong and you feel guilty about it and all four characters in shadows of evil have done something bad in their lives like murder cheating etc now this could also explain why the characters could be seeing this hat man figure because last week when the achievements were leaked out one of them read is spot the shadow man five times in one game and notice how it says spot so maybe when you're walking you can see him through a window in the distance something like that but what I'm getting at is this is exactly what happens to people with the hat man syndrome and also take a look at the logo of the achievement. As you can see, it's the same fedora like the hat man is described to always be wearing. But again, your mind does start to create this imaginary shadowy figure because of the guilt you feel about the wrongdoings and crime you have committed. But this still doesn't really add up because how does the shadow man or the hat man tie to zombies? Is he the one controlling the zombies? Is the shadow man a physical being or a figment of the four characters' imagination? I honestly think, guys, that we have a lot more questions than we do answers. And hopefully within the next couple of days, or weeks we can get some more information about the shadow man and i know a lot of people were let down during the season six premiere of the walking dead because there wasn't a zombies trailer so maybe Treyarch has something else planned out for us but we're just gonna have to wait and see anyways guys tell me what you think about the hat man syndrome do you guys think this ties into shadows of evil let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments and also guys i'm gonna be doing a mountain dew and dorito code giveaway again every single zombies video that i'm gonna be doing from now until the black ops 3 release you can uh, comment as many times as you want you can comment whatever you want i'm gonna let you guys know if you You've won the code by replying to your comments and also I'm gonna PM you the code on YouTube so just check your notifications regularly for me because uh, that's how I'm gonna be able to message you guys the code and uh, yeah guys thank you for watching Miners Averts hope you guys have a great rest of the day until next time I'll catch y'all later